and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Leatherhead from the new Ninja Turtles movie. So let's get into it. Just in case you're wondering what this pencil sketch here is of already what it is, so this is what it's going to turn out like. And I'm just going to be tracing with Sharpie so you can see it better. Um, but anyways, now let's get into it. So this is Leatherhead from the new movie. So we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to draw him or her. It's a she in the, in the new one. So first we're just gonna start off over here with just two of the exact same size circles. They don't have to be perfect, just try your best. And then we're just gonna outline those circles just like this, like that. So just make a bigger circle that's outlining it. And then for this circle right here, I'm gonna make a half circle for it on the side. And then make a line in that half circle. And if that didn't make sense, just pause the video and see what I did. And then for this side, I'm gonna do a half circle, but don't finish it because we're gonna do lines connecting to the other circle. I, I'm saying circle a lot. And on, on this side, you're gonna do the same thing as the other side. Just do a half circle with a line. And my, I'm using a Sharpie, and it's a bit thick, so you can barely see the line. But I also recommend to use pencil. To use pencil first and not a Sharpie, because if you make a mistake, you can't erase it with Sharpie. But anyway, now I'm going to do his nostrils. Or her, oh my gosh, I can't. But it, they're just two circles, and then you just say it in him. And then for the nose, you're going to do um, a curve, a curve, a long smile across those two circles do a curve on the side this side should have a longer curve and then do a curve connecting those just like that also um if you want to see more mutant mayhem drawing drawing tutorials and and just more drawing tutorials subscribe to the channel also you can see when i upload new drawing tutorials so but anyway now let's do the teeth. So in the actual picture, the teeth are really complicated. So I oversimplified them. So it's easy. So we're just gonna do a triangle right there. And then three more, just going across. But these ones are smaller. And then there's gonna be a triangle over here. And then two more, the same size. And now we're gonna do the, the mouth, or, I don't know. But just do a, a little Pac-Man thing right there. And then you're going to go down like that. And then do a curve. Curve line to on the bottom. And then we're going to do more teeth. So we're just going to do one going down. And then three going up. Like that. And now for the other side of the mouth. We're going to. Just do a line like that, and then do a tooth right there, and then do a tooth on the bottom, and then do a curved line up like that. And then you're just going to fill out the rest with teeth. So you're going to do two teeth going up on the top, and then however many teeth you can fit right there. And now we're going to do um, her tongue. I've, I've been saying his, I think, the whole time. But it's just a curved line with a line in the middle. And now we're going to do um, the whole face thing. I don't know. But first, we're just going to do two lines like that. But So now we're going to do a curved line. And then do a line going up like that. And then connect it into that curved line like that. And then you're going to do it. Do a down, a, like an angle lead curve line. Curve it like that towards the, the tooth. And then curve it out. And then before we do, we're, before we finish that, we're gonna do, we're gonna go out on the nose. Go in. Curve out. And then curve it at the bottom and connect it. Like that. And we're not worrying about the strap because it basically just follows that line. And now you see all this stuff? We're going to do that with a thin Sharpie. 
works, but um, if you're do if you're doing pencil, you just do it normally. So we're just gonna do like um, like a L right there, and then a line, and then right here, we're gonna do three lines, two lines, and then five lines like that, and then this part should be in thick. Just gonna do a curve line right there. So that is the basically just the normal head. You can also just do this for some shadow. And now we're gonna do um we're gonna do the hand because the hand is in front of everything. So for the hand, we're just gonna do like um a curvy um triangle. It's basically just like a curved triangle with a uh thing on the bottom, a curve on the bottom. And then we're just going to do a curve like that. And then a curve like that. And then you're going to go from here, curve it up, do a, do a line to make a, sh a point for the nail. And then you're going to curve it over. Do the same thing. Do a sharp point or a triangle. Curve it over. Triangle. Curve it over. And then you're and then this part is going to curve in and then curve out. And then this part of the thumb is just going to do a curve right there. And then we're not going to finish it because we don't have any guides for the, the body yet. So let's, let's do the hat now. So basically we're just going to start the line like that, going from the, the cheek to the, to the finger. And you're going to go up. To the side and like that and then curve it do a V for a triangle and then continue to curve it and then do um, a U or I don't know a curve and then do a curve going down and then curve it it's kind of going up it's like slightly up and then curve that down and then just curve it back in. So it's just a bunch of curves. And now we're gonna do the, um, the strap thing. Well, first we're gonna do this part. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna make a line going down and then um, make it, make it curve out and then go down like that. And then we're gonna make, well, now we're gonna make the strap. So we're just gonna make a line like that and then make it curve like this around the around the, the chin and up into the finger like that and then you're just gonna make a line right there and a line like that and now we're gonna make the um, this strap so it's just um, a long U with a circle and then you need to shade in that circle and then up here, we're just going to continue it by just doing two lines. And now we're going to start with the jacket. So around right here, you're going to curve it like that out. And then you're going to curve it like that to the side. And then you're going to curve it up. Now we're going to do a pocket. So we're just going to do a line like that. And then a curve like that. And then just make a dot in the middle and then we're gonna go down from there and then curve it back up into the thing or just into the line and now we're gonna continue this line but first we're just gonna do we're gonna go out right there in and then out and now we can continue it so we're just gonna do go down and then up like that and then connect it, connect it to the arm with the curved line, and then just continue, just continue that line right there. And that is the arm and jacket. And now we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a slight, a slightly line right there. And then we're gonna do from the cheek, go out and out like that, and then do a curved line in and then out slightly 
and then curve it like that into it. And now we're gonna make the other hand. So I'm just gonna do a nail like that. It's a triangle with the curve at the bottom. Two nails, and then third one should be down there. And then just do a curve like that. And then do that, just mimic it. And then bring that curve out and in, and then up, and then curve it into the nail. And then you're just gonna curve this one into the nail, and then this one is gonna curve down, and then it's gonna go up like that, and into the nail like that. And then you're just gonna do you can finish off the hand, so it's going to go out, a curved line out, and then in. And and now we're just going to finish the arm by doing that, by doing just two lines. And now we're going to do more of the pants. So we're going to do a line going down, a curved line going down right there. And then right here we're going to make the po another pocket, so it's going to be like that. And then like that. It's just the same thing, just with this little thing. Then we just do this, and then curve it, do a U like that. Then we're just gonna curve that into it. And now we're gonna do, oh wait, first, forgot to do this, we're just gonna do two lines, finishing this like that. And now we're gonna do this belt thing. So we're just gonna do a line like that from the belt to the jacket, and then do it again. Do it again on the other side and then just do just like three lines on it now we're gonna do this leg so we're gonna curve it out like that good do a curve like that or like a curve line curve it's gonna go up and then like that and then it's gonna go out, line out, just the same thing, just like slanted. And then this is gonna curve into the this part. And now we're gonna continue this line. So we're just gonna continue it like that. That's it. And now we're gonna do the feet. So the feet, this this side is just two two lines going down and then out. And then finish it off with a curve line and then do a curve line on top this foot is really just a line curve do a curve and then do another curve oops and then go back up like that and now we're gonna finish it off with the tail so the tail we're just gonna make a line like that curve it into the foot Go on the other side of the foot, curve it out like that, and then you're just gonna curve it like that, and then connect it. Now we're gonna do some spikes. So this is just triangles. Just do three triangles right here, and then just copy those tri three triangles outside like that. And now we're gonna do some details with the thin pen. So on the tail, you're just gonna do three lines over here on the arm we're just gonna do two lines and then a line right there we're also gonna do two curve lines on the hand and then a line right there also these are totally optional and then we're just gonna do two lines right there a line right there then you do a line right there a, a curve line right there a line right there, a squiggly line, and then a curvy line, and then just an, a line, I guess. And I think that, yeah, that's it. So that is how you draw a leather head from Team and Team Mutant Mayhem. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn how to draw Mondo Gecko, oh, click. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere on the screen. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.